Gender dysphoria, symptoms, treatment, what is it? Gender dysphoria is employed by psychotherapists when their patients suffer from gender identity disorders attributed at birth. A dysphoric subject feels discomfort, and sometimes presents with anxiety, anger, depression. We take stock with Thomas Villa, Psychopractitioner. Definition. What is gender dysphoria? Gender dysphoria GD refers to the feeling of distress or suffering that may be expressed by some people whose gender identity does not match the sex they were assigned at birth. Gender dysphoria was once referred to as gender identity disorder, recalls Thomas Villa, psychotherapist. But the World Health Organization WHO removed it in 2019 as a mental disorder and L. Reclassified as a condition related to sexual health. This change has notably made it possible to recognize that being transgender is not a mental illness. And so reflect a more modern understanding of LGBTQIA issues and prevent stigma, which is common among transgender, genderqueer, gender nonconforming, and gender diverse people. It is important to understand that gender nonconformity itself even is not a mental disorder. Gender dysphoria is characterized by the presence of significant clinical distress, as not all transgender people themselves suffer from gender dysphoria. Not all transgender people suffer from gender dysphoria. What are the symptoms of gender dysphoria? Although each individual experiences gender dysphoria in a unique and personal way, there are nevertheless several symptoms that are clearly identified in adolescents and adults. They can be classified into three categories, continues the specialist. A marked difference between assigned sex and gender identity as if trapped in the wrong body. A desire to live as another gender role which can include the use of a different name to affirm this identity and a desire to change their sexual characteristics breasts, voice, body hair. What are the symptoms of gender dysphoria in children? Gender dysphoria can also affect children. The symptoms are quite similar to those of adolescents and adults, with however some notable differences, specifies our interlocutor. To receive a diagnosis via the trusted source of the DSM-5, at least six of the following symptoms must be present for a duration of six months or more. A strong desire to be of another gender. A desire to wear clothing aligned with a different gender. A preference for playing another gender in pretend games. A desire for toys, games, and activities commonly associated with another gender. A rejection of toys, games, and activities commonly associated with their gender. A preference for playmates of different sexes. A sense of distress about their sexual anatomy. A preference for sex characteristics of another gender. Just like adolescents and adults, the diagnosis will be confirmed by a mental health professional. What causes gender dysphoria? Biological but also social and environmental factors can be at the origin of gender dysphoria, answers Thomas Villa. But it remains very different from one individual to another. Which test to diagnose gender dysphoria? There is no test to diagnose dysphoria. To establish a diagnosis, an anamnesis with a mental health professional will be obligatorily carried out. Then a follow-up between three and six months is enough, recommends our interlocutor. What is the treatment for gender dysphoria? Some adults will be motivated and supportive of hormone therapy and sometimes sex reassignment surgery and other gender-affirming surgeries, while others will seek only psychotherapy, explains the practitioner. When treatment is needed, it is aimed at relieving patients' distress and helping them to adapt rather than trying to change their identity. Although psychotherapy is no longer an obligation today, in general, psychological follow-up will remain strongly recommended in certain cases, concludes Thomas Villa. Among them, treating concurrent disorders depression for example. Learn to cope with the negative effects of stigma. Learn to find a gender expression that is comfortable, if necessary, facilitate coming out and or transition.